Robin and Abanja's arrival and presence at Bunambutia settlement was characterized by, among other things, a guided tour of Bunambutia Health Center 3. It is a facility whose construction started about a year ago, thanks to the support from government and Uganda Red Cross. Yes, just that it. Thank you so much. Right on, Honorable Prime Minister. So, as the Prime Minister, Robin Anabanja proceeded to plant some trees. Shortly after commissioning the facility, it was all hope for better life of people settled here. In constructing this center or this facility, there was an interministerial or intergovernmental agency committee that worked hard to ensure that we deliver quality work. This was being coordinated by the office of the Prime Minister, uh, your, your, your office. We are aware that uh, you people are settled here because of the catastrophe you got of landslides in Vududa and that the government took a decision to resettle you here. We are very grateful that you accepted to come under the orders of the president. But if this was an achievement worth boasting over, there were some challenges. Residents express worry over looming hunger, not just because of harsh weather conditions, but also due to lack of land for farming. The president of the Republic of Uganda and the office of PM promised us that uh, after reaching there in the settlement, we will be given one acre around the, our home where the house is, and two acres of land for farming. But uh, we have not received those two acres. Bunamtia resettlement area faces harsh long dry spell, which always affects crop production and results into food insecurity and low household incomes. It's our plea that water for production is prioritized for this area by the relevant ministries with your support, Mama. This caught the Prime Minister's attention, prompting her to seek some explanations, which led her into making some directives. There is money, people want land, and they want to use it, and because you are waiting for money, that you want to clear, no. Right on, Prime Minister, we have agreed with them that on the next week we are giving them the land. Money was sent from the office of the Prime Minister to the local government. Part of the land was cleared. Some members of the communities were given one acre each, cleared. Then we also gave them the second card of the second acre, which is not cleared. So the only thing lacking now in the local government is money to clear a piece of land down there. The then... committee can clear their land. There is land, people are dying of hunger, and you are waiting for money from Prime Minister? And they can clear that land themselves? I will come back here. From today, as you have made this statement, please, as we are going to handle it. Thank you. It is a challenge, which area MPs also agree needs to be addressed. The people had been, had been given a less land, one acre, but at the moment, I think the Prime Minister had instructed the district, the Chief Administration Officer, the Cow and other the German Five and other DC to ensure that uh, the people are given enough land. Accompanied by a handful of ministers, Nabanja tasked them to prioritize the welfare of these disaster victims, something which they answered in affirmative. Because in Ibugizu, we are so fertile. By next year, you will find this population doubled or, or sometimes three. So it is important that we upgrade it in time such that it serves the population that is growing here. These disaster victims became residents here at Bunambutia sub-county in Bunambuli district following 2018 landslides that occurred in Bududa district, leaving many of them homeless. Henry Okrut. UBC.